Well, first off, I, I thought, you know, it really started on the mound with, with, with Casey Murphy's performance. You know, just looking at the box score, he threw 70% strikes, 70 strikes out of 100 pitches, pretty impressive. Uh, you know, Southern Miss has as good a lineup as anybody in the country that we've seen this year. They're big and they're physical as far as, you know, you make a mistake, they can hit it a long way. And uh, it's a deep lineup and uh, really didn't give you give him an inning off. And he just kept, you know, getting ahead in the count and getting to kind of throw what he wanted to throw. And, um, you know, obviously on the other side of it, the offensive side put together a big inning like we did in the second inning, scored, I think, seven runs. And uh, probably four of those runs were with a couple outs. Just kept coming up with a big hit that uh, you know gave Casey a chance. Probably relax a little bit, and uh, you know he just did a great job. He saved our bullpen, and uh, you know gave us a chance to have most of our guys ready to go for the rest of the tournament. Questions for the student athletes? Raise your hand, and we will get a microphone to you, Scotty. Carson, did you let out some frustrations after the triple in the second? Uh, no, I wouldn't say it's frustrations. I didn't have any frustrations. Um, I've been swinging fine, in my opinion. I uh, just haven't had things fall. So, uh, no, just it, heat of the moment, and I just got really excited and couldn't help it. Blacked out a little bit. It's for the other guys, um, just his impact on that, that second inning. He let off the second with a walk and then had that, that big triple later. Um, Shady. <laughs> Well, was that was for Shaddy again? No, it was for, for the other two. About Shaddy's impact? Yeah. Oh, oh um, yeah. Shaddy's just a fire starter for us. Um, usually when Shaddy goes, we go. So it was good to get Shaddy back doing what Shaddy does. And that walk in the second inning kind of kind of started things up. And uh, his triple was a big hit, too. He scored two, I believe, with two outs. So it was good by it was good for Shaddy to get us going. For for Jared and, and Carson, can you talk about the approach tonight and in particular all the opposite field hits that, that you all had? Um, I think it, I mean, we, we just did the same thing we've been doing all year. Um, I think that they just they pitched us a little, um, maybe just pitched us a little bit different than we're usually pitched. And, uh, you know, I think that's just true testament to Coach Thompson. He's really, really worked with us on uh, staying on the ball and staying to it a long time, seeing the ball deep and driving it the other way. And, um, you know, I think we're a team that can do a lot of things. And uh, opposite field and power is, is one of the things we're, we're very good at, for sure. Yeah, just what Shaddy said about Coach Thompson and with the scattering report he had for us today, um, we knew the guy was going to throw a lot of uh, curveballs and change-ups and sliders and whatnot. So we are just kind of trying to stay on that and not pull, pull out too much and try to get too big and just take what he gave us. So that was kind of the approach all day, and it worked out. Jared, what's uh, what's gotten into you, I guess, since the SEC tournament? You've just delivered these big time hits. Uh, you comment on that, and you uh, with uh, Casey and Carson, would y'all talk about this guy the way he's playing right now? Uh, I just feel good up there right now. Um, kind of had a rough season so far, but uh, um, I don't know how to explain it. I guess uh, I'm just seeing the ball pretty well. I'm putting some good swings on it, so I just have a lot of confidence right now in myself. So I'm gonna keep it going. Yeah, just uh, build on what on what he said. I just see a lot of confidence um, in, in Gates' approach and his swing and uh, his demeanor. His, um, you know, he's a guy that everybody looks up up to in the locker room. You know, he's a, he's an older guy like myself, and um, he, uh, you know, he's just he's he's got confidence and um, it's it's working. I feel like they uh, they're doing a pretty good job, um, <laughs> but no, uh, I mean Carson hitting the nail on the head. I mean. He's a I mean, great team guy and all that. He, he, like he said, I mean, things just haven't been falling for me either. But I mean, he stays the way he's good at, and he, it shows right now. I mean, but like the luck's on his side, and I mean, that's he's been doing the same thing all year. It's just things starting to turn around. This is for Casey. Uh, you look at Southern Miss's numbers coming in. They hit the ball really well this year. What was your approach, and how did you uh, execute it? I mean, I stick to the same approach most of every game. I mean, I just go into execute pitches. I mean. As a pitcher, I mean, they, they hit everything really well. I mean, Coach Van Orn said it. They're a really good hitting team. Um, they, were, they were off the plate a lot, so I kind of used my, my strength to their weakness. I threw a lot of arm side fastballs to the righties, and they gave me the outside corner pretty well. So I stuck to that and got ahead and counts. And I mean, really set up my off speed to throw it whenever I wanted. Nate? Casey, just pitching with that lead, how much different was that for you, just knowing you had that seven, you were up seven after two innings? Oh, it's great. I mean, it's huge. I mean, like Coach said again, I mean, I'll let you relax a little bit. Uh, know if they bloop one in the outfield and start an inning or something. I 
plenty of run, run support to get out of it. But uh, it's kind of a human rain delay for the second, though, so it, I came out a little stiff and I had to get right back going. It's, I mean, it's different coming out very early in the game after a really big uh, inning in the second, kind of like that. Bob. Carson, you guys are 31-3 and three here this season. You just got to win one more game. So how do you feel about the position you guys put yourselves in right now? Um, I, f I feel really good about it. Um, you know, Coach Van Horn was telling us, just reminding us uh, at the post game. You know, we haven't done anything yet. Um, we, I mean, the only thing we've done is put ourselves in a good position, and uh, we still got to go to work. No one's going to hand us anything. Um, we we know this. Us older guys know that no one in in this entire league will will hand you anything. So, um, you know, I'm really excited about our, our home record, and um, it, it's a testament to the fans how much that we we like to play behind them and. Um, and we're really excited about where we're at. <clears throat> Any more questions for the student athletes? Thanks, gentlemen. Same thing for Coach Van Horn. Raise your hand, and we will get a microphone to you for questions. Matt. Dave, Scott Berry was talking about how he feels like this park is playing a lot smaller than it used to. I mean, there's been a lot of home runs hit here this weekend. All the teams have scored at least nine in one game. What, what are your thoughts on that? Has it changed over the past few years? It's still the same dimension, so I think it has to do with the temperatures. It has to do with the wind. Um, you know, yesterday the, the wind was kind of blowing from right to right field corner to left field corner. Balls were sliced by lefties that were getting out of the park. Uh, obviously, the right-handers, they didn't need a whole lot of help when they turned on one. And, and then today, the wind kind of changed direction. It was blowing straight out, and then it was blowing out to right center. And, you know, that's the where balls were hit. So it, it's going to travel a little bit more. And, uh, you know, you get this time of the year, hitters, they got 200 at-bats, seeing the ball pretty good. You, you make a mistake, they, they make you pay for it. So, uh, But it, it has played a little smaller than normal, but it, it really has to do with the weather. Dave, before the SEC tournament, you said you were decided just to kind of quit all the switching at first base and go with Gates. Just kind of went in. Was last year's postseason kind of a factor in that, or? Well, it really, it's because I felt like you know Gates is a good defender, and at the time, you know, we weren't getting we weren't getting much production out of the first baseman's I was putting over there. So I just felt like I'll go with the experienced guy that. Uh, you know, seems to make a lot of plays. If he gets to it, he fields it. And, you know, we had a talk. I talked to Gates a while back about that, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about coming to the park and checking the lineup. You're playing. Just hoping that he'd relax a little bit. And he just kind of shook his head. And, uh, you know, basically I told him that you were the guy. I got confidence in you and we need you. And, uh, and he sure has responded, I'll tell you that. Hey, Dave, I got two, a two-parter here. Um, Coach Barry said that you guys have fast twitch bats, and because his guy couldn't control his secondary pitches, you guys were sitting on fastballs. Can you talk about that a little bit? And then also um, defensively, I want to say three or four really nice defensive plays. To, can you speak to those? Yeah. You know, we, I mean, quick twitch is what I call it. You know, we've got a couple of guys. Martin's got the, the, the quickest bat on the team. And – you know, he needs to sit back a little bit more because he, he can. Um, really, more than anything, we were sitting off speed. Um, we felt like that his fastball was good, but it wasn't enough to get by us. Um, you know, when I say sitting, you, you just – you're expecting something a little slower. And if you get a fastball early in the count, take it. You know, and when you have two strikes and you have to open it up a little bit and you can't just sit one way or the other. and you know, it's nothing new. It's, you know, it's easier said than done, but I thought our guys had a great approach tonight. Um, we laid off a lot of borderline pitches early in the count again. Um, you know, we weren't chasing. He's one of those type of pitchers that wants you to get yourself out. And we we did a good job of not doing that, and that's why we put together, you know, a, a really good inning and we got his pitch count up. And that's what did him in, was the pitch count. And then as far as defensively, uh, you know, we played pretty good in Hoover. We played pretty good defense down the stretch. Um, you know, for the most part, we had one game where it didn't go well, I think, in the last maybe 10, where I think we made four errors in a game. But other than that, it's been no errors, one error, and it hasn't been costly errors. 
uh, you know, as far as making spectacular plays, it's it's always nice to see outfielder make a diving catch. I thought the play that Cole made in about the fifth or sixth inning, I thought it was base hit to right when I left the bat. Next thing you know, he's running under it. He got a great jump on it. Really good read on the swing. Um, you know, that, but, uh, you know, then Gates made a couple of really nice plays tonight. So it was good to see. Okay. Just curious, Gates finally healthy part of it. Is he the missing link for for your team? Well, we, we he makes our lineup deep, you know, especially now that, you know, Jax Biggers is back and seems to be swinging the bat pretty good. And then you can, you know, you had another bat down there at the end of the order. And, you know, we feel like Grant Cook swinging the bat a lot better. He was had an 0 for 9, but he had lined out to third. He had a ball dead center that went to the warning track. Um, you know, we feel like there's some guys that are close. But, uh, you know, we don't expect all of them, nine of them to hit every night. You know, we just need four or five of them. The other guys need to move people around. Somebody needs to pick somebody else up when they're having a bad night. I feel like we have enough hitters to do that. Coach Carson, I think, worked three full counts tonight and reached base each time. Just saw a lot of pitches tonight. What did you like about his approach? <clears throat> well, pretty much what you just said. You know, he, he laid off a lot of pitches and, and got deep into counts, drove pitch counts up, and – you know, fouled off a couple of pitches till he got one he could handle. The one at bat where he struck out, when he came back, I, I made the comment to him. I said, you haven't swung the balls in the dirt all year like that. And he said, I know. And he just got a little too anxious. And uh, But his other three or four at bats were really good. And uh, that's the difference between him last year and this year is that uh, he doesn't chase nearly as much. That's why his batting average is higher, strikeouts are down, RBIs are up. Before the season, you were talking about the the increased power of this team, the the workouts that they had done in the weight room. Do you think that that's contributed to all the opposite field home runs that we've seen? I, no doubt. I think that uh, you know Blaine Kinsley, our new strength coach, does a tremendous job with our guys, and uh, they've maintained their strength throughout the season. You know, you get to a certain point, it's hard to gain strength. You know, when we're playing this many games this time of year, you just don't want to lose strength. You don't want to get weaker. And uh, they've they bought into everything that he said, and and they work hard, and and then our approach, you know, I think Coach Thompson, he's got a really good, you know, does a great job with the hitters, and and we, you know, just talk all the time about going the other way. We have drills where we're going the other way, you know, and if you have guys that have some talent and they and they're coachable, which we do, uh, they're going to get better, and they have. Coach, is it fun to see Carson kind of let out all that emotion after that triple in the second? <laughs> You like Carson, don't you? OK, let me say anything. Carson here. I don't want Carson showing that emotion, to be honest with you. I've talked to him about it a few times. I want him to save his energy. And uh, that's probably why he didn't know what to say when you said that, because he probably knew that I wasn't real happy with him. Uh, I want him to get excited, but stay calm, because that was only the second inning. There's a lot of game left. So uh, anyway. Matt. Uh, I'm assuming you start Campbell tomorrow, and then what, what do you think about the starting pitchers, what they've done to save your bullpen through the first two games? Tremendous job. You know, uh, I mean, what, what can you say? The first two starters have gone out and given us eight, nine innings, or eight innings, and and uh, given us a chance to build up a lead, held teams down, and, you know, where we didn't have to use, you know, four guys that we use a lot, and they're all available to go. So, uh, yeah, we'll start Campbell tomorrow, and, uh, you know, just, Hopefully he'll go out and, you know, feel feel a little pressure from the other two stars to go out and have another good start. And a lot of times they feed off each other. That's what I see. 